Conductor Roberta Wyrick from United Space Alliance. At T minus five minutes, the pilot will be instructed to start the orbiter auxiliary power units. Coming up on T minus five minutes in three, two, one, T minus five minutes and counting. Yeah, let's just wait for your AP start. CLP, OTC, perform AP start. And work. I see you. CDR, OTC, reconfigure heater. That's in work. That's in work. Solid rocket booster safe and arm devices are now being armed. Milestone is a check of the orbiter's flight controls. And there will be a steering check of Atlantis's three main engines. now that the main engines are in their start position. We're starting now the retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent arm, the vent hood. Clear 
fuel cells going to internal. External tank camera being activated at this time. OTC, PLT, no unexpected errors. No unexpected errors. There goes the speed. After that. Flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. That's your work. That's You know the drill. T minus two minutes. R. MS1. Solid rocket booster camera is being activated. T minus one minute, thirty seconds. Now, the suppression water system has been armed. T minus one minute. One minute. But oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill in drain valves are closed. T minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus 31. T minus 35, 33. And we have had a failure. Grand lock sequencer. Minus. And off to Atlantis' computers has occurred. Solid rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. Firing chain is armed. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Start, now I see it.
Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. Forty seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of radio performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Throttle up. What do you see there, Rex? Three at 104. ET is uh, about point eight. You're about point zero seven. In the positive negative or negative direction? Negative. 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 You know with throttle up, no action on DPDT. He's probably just going to have to stretch. Okay. Yeah, we're we're we can go 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 concur, thank you. No action required. 90 seconds. Seconds. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 1 minute 40 Thank seconds you, into the flight. Okay. Atlantis flexing Thank its you. muscles one final time. Is that zero? Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Stand by. Open your visor. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for one minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Coming, uh, coming down. Atlantis, two engine tail. Two engine tail. Two engine. I never heard of it. Okay. As you know, Atlantis, it was a single pane day, so in the event of contingency, you're in plane plus 230 on the ECAL page. No comm VIs when you're ready to copy. Okay, in plane plus 230, go ahead. Press to ATO, 10 decimal 8. Press to Nico, 14 decimal 7. Press to ATO, 10 decimal 8, press to Miko, 14 decimal 7. Copy. That's a good read back, Atlantis. DPDT look good there, Sandy? Yeah, it looks yeah, good, zero. zero. Rex? Yep. Cabin pressure is 15 PSI, looks great. Yeah, the UHF. I know. 14.79 over here. All right, thanks. That's the dump. Should be gone soon. It's done. It's it finished. You're all over. That's good. 83 on a sign. He confessed. That's a killer view. Yeah. It's nice up here. At 300,000 feet. <laughs> negative return. Atlantis. Okay. Negative return. Negative return. However, Atlantis's three engines performing perfectly. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis currently traveling 5,500 miles an hour, 62 miles in altitude, almost 200 miles downrange. Four minutes of powered flight remaining. Atlantis speeding straight as an arrow toward its date with the International Space Station Sunday morning. I don't remember liftoff being quite that violent. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Coming up on the five minute mark. Atlantis now traveling 6,500 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, 250 miles downrange. Actually, it's a Atlantis, press to ATO. Press to ATO. Press to ATO. 
That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. Atlantis will begin its slow roll to a heads-up position shortly. Five and a half minutes into the flight, Atlantis traveling 7,700 miles an hour, 315 miles downrange. Atlantis, single engine, ops three. Single engine, ops three. Single engine, ops three. There's a roll. Prop, everything was good with uh, Ohm's assist shut down. And the guidance officer here in Mission Control confirms that the computers are commanding the main engines to swivel. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. We've rolled to a heads up position now, providing better communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system as Atlantis heads uphill. Wow. Yeah. Six minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. 2.1. Atlantis, press to Miko. Nominal shutdown. Right, press to Miko. Press to Miko. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main Copy engines continue to function normally. Nominal. Fergie, go to press X, go to pitch. We got it. Nominal shutdown plan. Go for the press X, go for the pitch. All right, Sandy, all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Press X, go to pitch. That call indicating uh, that we will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation of Atlantis for external tank uh, photography following the main engine cutoff. Now seven minutes into the flight. I think you'd be throwing now. Zero. Coming up on throttling. I agree. One minute, 20 seconds till main engine cutoff. Atlantis traveling 12,000 miles an hour. The main engines will uh, soon be throttling down once That's again to limit the stress on the shuttle and its four crew members to that of three times the effective gravity. Atlantis currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlantis. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight minute mark into the flight. Atlantis now traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. Eight minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, standing by for main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Miko. That was a Miko. That was a Miko. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external flight. tank separation. Uh, ET tank, uh, wait for 104. Yeah. Folks, we're going to be in the post zones one pages. There's 104. I see an HA grader. Atlantis Locked off data. the tank. Here we go. Well, Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external Atlantis, fuel tank as it drifts away. Ohms 1 is not required. Your preliminary Ohms 2 take 37 minutes. 37 minutes, uh, no ohms one required, thanks. No ohms one required, thanks. Ohm tensions are next. I agree. All right, everybody, we're out of the book. Sandy, you're on strap. I'm working on it. Post ohms one. I agree. It's a lot easier than 3Gs. Welcome mm -hmm. to space, everyone. Yeah. Good to be back. Yeah, I'm going to... I can't go off comm while I talk to you, do I? Oh, go ahead, I'll yell at you. I'm going to go off comm. Yeah, ready for rest? Ready for rest. I'm there. 